Hi folks, welcome back. So in the previous video, we, you saw how you can patch the grid infrastructure using D dbcli commands. Now in this video, we will see how you can patch the RDBMS release version as well using the dbcli command. So if I give a simple command like dbcli describe component, you'll see that for the grid infrastructure, we have already upgraded it to 19.10 and it shows that you are on up to date. But for the database version, it shows that you are on 19.9 .9 and you need to upgrade to the latest version, which is available till date or as of the time the video was being recorded is 19.10. So here I'll give you another command, which is dbcli list dash db homes, right? So if I give dbcli list db homes, it will actually show me the current status of the Oracle homes that are actually running on this environment. Since it is a VMDB system, you have one Oracle home. It gives you the entire description that what is the ID? What is the name of the Oracle home? And what is the database version? As we know by now, it is 19.9. .9. And what is the home version, which is uh, home location actually, which is always used on one app Oracle product 19 and DB home. Status shows configured that it is actually being used. I'll give you another command, which is dbcli update dash db home minus i. And here you pick the i stands for the id and you just um, run this command, which is again one single command, and it will be doing all the hard work for, hard work for you at the back end. Yes, and you see the status shows as created, and again, it's the same way it shows the progress percentage as if, if you rerun the list jobs, then you can actually see what is uh, the, the entire uh, jobs that are actually running. And we can also do a describe job on it as we actually did in the previous um, video. So if I do a list jobs, it will actually show me all the jobs that are running. So in this case, uh, we should see that the update DB home job should be up and running. So, yeah, as you see, the server patching was completed in the previous video. Now the DB home patching is running successfully. And if I do a dbcli um, describe job, describe dash job, and I give minus i and id, you will see that it will actually give me the details of uh, this job the same way that we were actually having where you can see the progress percentage you can see what it is doing at the back end but as i said previously guys if you really want to see what is happening at the back end always go to the log files look what is happening go to oracle home cfg tool logs and you can see from there because here you'll just see that pre-operations are completed then you see the patching in progress give it another 45 50 minutes and you'll see that this should complete and then we should uh, always uh, just take a look how the things are uh, in the new Oracle home. So let's give it another say 45 minutes and we revisit the video. Thanks for watching.